So there are a lot of uh, two-wheel riders, and uh, they come in all varieties. As you can see, the couple in front of me has no helmet, no gloves, no protective cover, no shoes, and you see that all the time. In fact, uh, we saw the other night an entire family of four on what must have been a little Honda 125 scooter. Baby was sitting in Dad's lap, Dad was driving. Toddler was squished in between Mom, who was sitting on the back, and no protective gear of any kind for anybody. And then we also saw a couple with a newborn baby. Newborn, I'd say, you know, six months or something like that. Just, she was holding him in her arms, uh, not even holding onto the bike, you know, riding on the back while Dad drove. And that's, you know, you see various levels of, uh, of, uh, of, of taking care of business in terms of uh, protective gear. I've seen uh, four real motorcycles. Two of them were Harleys and two of them were, one was a uh, Honda CBR. I don't know what the other one was, but just about everybody has uh, one of these old scooters. And they have no hesitation whatsoever to, you know, put whatever on it and just go makes me wonder, I want to research this when I have time, just how many people get killed um, in motorcycle accidents in Thailand in a year. You know, everybody shares the road. But like right now, I've got to negotiate between this guy and this pickup truck. And I'll guarantee you, I'm the fastest bike out here. But you still got to get out of people's way. Try not to run into things. Yeah, there is a helmet law here, but just about nothing is enforced. Um, you can get away with breaking just about any law as long as you don't do it too badly. I don't suppose they tolerate violence very much, but this is not a violent country. I mean, it's a very non-violent country. Uh, very low crime. I don't think anybody wants to get sideways with a Thai cop. I certainly don't. So I'm on my best behavior, Joe Monk. So I'll talk some more in a bit.